Am I the arsehole? For getting someone arrested and fined over my boat? Two weeks ago I along with two other friends did our annual week-long trip to our mutual friend Alex's cottage. For years one of our longest running jokes was that I should bring my 46 feet salt water fishing boat to the lake. This year after looking up the lake's policies we decided to make it a reality. To make this happen we all split the costs of both the permit and the marina fees. X200B The first four days of fishing boating went very well however the same couldn't be said for the fifth. The issues started over some fishing we did in the same bay as Alex's cottage. After using my fish finder we found a prime spot on the other side of it. Roughly an hour into us being there a woman 2030s we didn't know kayaked across the bay to us. When she got she asked to speak to the owner of the boat. When I introduced myself to her she started going off about how the boat isn't allowed on the lake. My response to her was to point at the lake permit in the windscreen before asking her to leave and not disturb us anymore. X200B This made her furious and she started cussing and screaming at us. For safety reasons Alex started recording her in case she did anything stupid. This only made things worse as she started trying to pull up our fishing and anchor lines. In doing this she wound up breaking my $3,000 rod. This was when her demeanor did a 180 and she began to plead with us to not call the police. As collateral, she offered to not only replace it but pay for next year's permit. I rejected the offer and used my VHF to call for police assistance right in front of her. The result of this was her getting fined for angler harassment and arrested for felony destruction of property. X200B Two days after all of this happened, Alex and his parents found themselves being visited by the woman's mother. From what he told me, she started going off on them and saying we are assholes for getting her daughter arrested. She believes we should have accepted her apologies and offers to replace it. Looking back I am conflicted as what I did could be considered vengeful as she did legitimately offer to make amends. X200B Am I the asshole for getting her arrested? You do not owe grace to someone initiating violent, destructive, and unpredictable behavior. Who cares what their mother thinks perhaps she should have raised her daughter better or ensured she would not harass others if she had an issue where she can't control herself. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She destroyed your property. If you'd accepted her offer, there's no guarantee she'd have followed through. Not the asshole, I'd call the station and complain that they're harassing the family, it's a big no-no in most places. Not the asshole of all of the situations similar to this that I have been in, the times that I did not call the police came back to bite me in the butt. It sucks that she got charges and fines. Maybe next time she will think twice before being a terror. The way the daughter acted, and then how the parents acted towards you, would have only solidified my confidence in that calling the police was the right action. It's clear that the daughter never faced consequences from the parents and therefore grew up entitled and not thinking she should have to deal with the consequences of her actions. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. There is no reason to believe a woman harassing you to pay you back what she broke. Also her mom is witness intimidating and I think you should call the cop on her too for giggles. Not the asshole. She should have thought of that before violating the law and breaking your gear. She's the one who escalated it from a friendly float up to an incident that invited police actions. Money may be trivial to these people, so allowing them to buy their way out is just letting them continue their bad behavior with no real ramifications. Not the asshole. Without a police report it's highly unlikely she'd pay for the damage. Not the asshole. She has clearly never gotten to the find out stage of fucking around, I'm glad you gave her a lesson. Not the asshole. The second someone starts destroying vandalizing your property the only correct response is to get police involved. Taking care of it yourself is how people get themselves into legal gray areas. Not the asshole. She fucketh around and she findeth out. Not the asshole. You should call the cops on the mom too, 
Intimidation of a Witness Lamau As a paddler I fracking hate power boats the noise, the air and water pollution, the casual way they inflict wakes on everyone. I'll take a power boat free water way any day of the week. But it's breathtakingly stupid to attack one by hand. She's lucky a fishing pole is all she managed to break. There's expensive, then there's boat expensive. Not the asshole. Oh, if it isn't the consequences of her own actions. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You have nothing to force her to make amends once you leave and she's clearly a loon. Not the asshole she is for harassing you guys and touching your shit. She got what she deserved, woman shrugging. Ours usually want to backtrack and make amends once they step over the line but that doesn't stop them from being assholes. Nothing wrong with what you did. Hope she learns her lesson. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Obviously not the asshole. She was an interfering busybody who broke your expensive equipment, she should have kept her hands to herself. Not the asshole. The woman was going to break your stuff. Of course she deserved to be thrown into prison. Not the asshole for calling for police assistance when somebody is a potential danger to you and themselves. Has she been charged for destruction of property? If you tell the police you do not support prosecution provided she covers your costs she may escape conviction. Seek legal advice if possible. Not the asshole unless you fail to also report the mother for harassment. Some folks need to learn some boundaries. Not the asshole. This woman 100 brought it on herself. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Not the asshole hopefully she learned a lesson. Not the asshole. You were on the lake legally and had your permits sorted, she fucked around and found out. Oops. You're not the asshole. It sounds like the apple didn't rot far from its tree. Not the asshole, her parents should have taught her to keep her hands to herself and then she would not have ended up in jail. Not the asshole. Unless she gave you the money right then and there. There's no saying she would have for sure replaced it. Not the asshole. Words are very pretty when they're useful to you, but her actions spoke volumes to everyone. She messed around and she found out the consequences. Not the asshole. Of course she's sorry after she realized how much trouble she was in. You did the right thing. Hopefully she learns her lesson. Not the asshole. While I'm generally not an advocate for escalating matters to the police when there is an alternative, I'd be willing to bet that the replacement rod you would have received if one at all would have been a cheap one from Walmart or something since they're all the same anyways. Nata. She faffo. You can't demand you get your way and wreck property. Not the asshole, play stupid games get stupid prizes dead bodies also split the cost of trailering it they're costly. As a fisherman, I just want to know what kind of rod is $3,000 and what makes it so expensive.